everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these triple stepper cards. So I actually saw this on, it was a blog and it was called Paper Wishes, I believe. I'll, I'll link it below. But hers was using a template. It was quite a large template and I think the overall card size was bigger. But I've played around with the sizes because I wanted to make it into a 5 by 7 and that's what these are here. But the nice thing about these is that you can have them as a landscape or a portrait. So this is the landscape version. It's, you put it together exactly the same way, it's just obviously your design will be a different way. What I've decided to do, because this one here is the one that I made during my Facebook Live, and I love how you can create a scene with this style. You can see how it looks there. It's really, really fun, and I'll show you the stamps and everything that I used. And for those that watch the live, you can see closer up now all the little finishing touches I've done. So I've added my glossy accents all over to look like the water's shining there. I've added, I don't know what this is called, but... <laughs> the part of the fishing line. I've added that there just so it's bobbing in the water. I've added the little sign there that says gone fishing and I've done some more colour so you'll see there's just a lot more detail in the images and I've added the sign there that says um, or the sentiment that says relax and then inside I'm going to put happy retirement. Um, but it's really really nice lovely effect but when I done that one after the live I had a few people message me to ask me about the matte layer sizes because I did go through them very briefly and I thought actually for a YouTube video it's going to be better for me to do this kind of style with all the mats and layers because I think this is going to be more of a popular style rather than the stamped look which is beautiful and I adore that card but I think this is going to be what more people will do. So this is the same card, same size, but using mats and layers and just decorated in a different way. I've used supplies from my Made to Surprise range and um, then you open it up and you've got your space inside there to be able to write your message. But if you just turn it this way, you can then open it this way and it will stand that way as well as standing that way. So I'm going to decorate this one that I'm going to do now in the portrait orientation and someone a few people actually in the group said that the side of this looks like a cake tier so depending on how you decorate this it could well look good for a birthday cake or even a wedding cake or anniversary something like that so there's other ways to decorate it and if you are not a member but if you head over to Facebook to Mixed Up Crafters you'll see so many other wonderful cards in this style from when we done the live so enough of me talking I just wanted to kind of explain why I'm doing this look because I know people that would have watched the live I then said I'm going to do this same one in the portrait but I kind of thought I don't think it's really going to be something that everyone will do. I think this style is going to be more popular. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so the stamps I used are from the brand new Creative Stamping Magazine. It's issue 86. And it's this stamp set here, which is called By the Water. And it's lovely. You can see the fisherman there and the scene and everything that I used to make this card. So it's, it's a gorgeous stamp set. And I'll certainly be using it on more cards in the future. For that one there, I used the Yay for Today. This is the stamp, sorry, the die from my wiper cards. So I know a lot of you do have that range. I just pulled out that sentiment because I really like it. But for today's, I've done the Hello. And that's this one here. And it's from the Bright Rosa Sentiment Words. So that's what I'm using there. The papers that I'm using, so this lovely retro floral print is from my scenes paper pad and it's this one here and I fussy cut some of the um, flowers as well which I've done there which I'll be using to decorate. I've done all my mats and layers and I've stuck most of them down just to keep the video nice and short um, and again I'll talk you through those because they do vary slightly so I'm going to give you the lengths of these two when we get to this one. These two are the same as these two on this on the portrait one but these two are slightly different and I just think it's nice for you to be able to have the option. Okay, so here's my template. That's for the inside, we'll do that in a minute. So you want to cut a piece of 10 by 7 cardstock. So I've got this lovely yellow colour. Okay, 10 by 7. And then what you want to do first of all is pop it into portrait orientation. And along the bottom, you want to mark with a pencil at two and a half. Just see my faint pencil line there. So just put a little marker at two and a half and four and three quarters. And again at the top, pencil mark at two and a half and four and three quarters and join those marks up. So you've got a very faint pencil line. Don't draw it too heavy because you want to be able to rub it out. But maybe it might be worthwhile making a template up first so you've got this. Then you want to, so you can see that I've done my pencil lines on this yellow piece. Then you want to pop it in landscape orientation, so along the 10 inch side. But you want to make sure that that two and a half piece, because remember you marked here at two and a half, that needs to be at the bottom, okay? Because that's going to become the left-hand side of your card and it's got that wider section, so make sure that's at the bottom. 
I'm going to keep that just in the shot there so I can talk through it. Then what we're going to do is these score lines here. So you want to score it three and six just down to that first pencil line. So you can see here I've already done mine to so three and six just down to that pencil line. You then want to score eight down to the second pencil line. So there's my eight and I'm scoring down just to this one here. Then you want to score at four and seven just within that middle section. Now you might find it a bit easier to lay a ruler down, line it up with the four inches, hover your stylus over that first section and then start scoring between those two pencil lines. And that's at four and then again at seven. So again just sit in the ruler there and just roll that down. Okay. Then the last score line is going to be at five and it's just on that bottom two and a half section. So again just lay that down there and just score at five. Like I said, I'm going to take a photo of that and I'll pop it on my blog so you've got it there. You can print it off, you know, it's entirely up to you. But um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward to do. So that's everything that you need there. Next, we just need to do a little bit of cutting. So I've got it in this portrait orientation with that five inch score line and that larger two and a half section on the left hand side here. So you can just about see, oh, there's my five inch score line just there. Okay, so make sure that's on that side. We're then going to cut from that four inch score line down to the eight inch score line. So basically from the top score line down to the bottom along that pencil line. Okay, so you're following that and then from the three inch down to the eight. Again, just let me bring it up there, you can see. So I'm going to lay my ruler down very neatly. Just cut that one. And then here, like so. Now we can rub out all of our pencil lines. Okay, so if I just bring it up, you can see my two cut lines, which are between those score lines. You shouldn't be able to see any pencil lines now. I've got rid of them. You can just see all my score lines. So you've got that five inch one on the left hand side. You want to pop that into a mountain fold, okay? The two back ones, so if I just bring this here, so your five, your four and your three, all are mounting. So just kind of pinching them for the minute. Okay, and then this eight one, the eight inch, is a mountain. So that just leaves the seven and the six need to be valley folds, and that's how they will want to go anyway. And as you bring it all together, you will get your five by seven card size. Okay, now I'm going to turn mine this way, so now I've got my portrait 5 by 7 card. But if you want to do that way, then you'll just keep it like so. If you want to do these mats and layers, then I've got this long one here along the bottom. I think when you do the landscape version, it's nice to have this as one long piece along the bottom. And then when you do the portrait, I'm going to have this as a long piece along the bottom. So you can just see how it's going to have a slightly different look. So for this long piece, you will want, I'm using the holographic cardstock, so you'll want a piece that's six and three quarters by one and three quarters. And then my pattern paper on top is six and a half by one and a half. This piece here is two and a quarter by two and three quarters. And my pattern paper is two by two and a half okay that's the sizes to have along this section these here are going to be the same as what they are on this one so then I'm going to tell you the mats and layers for this one and then those ones so this here is four and three quarters by two and a quarter and the pattern paper is four and a half by two and a half that's going to go along here okay I've then got this piece which is going to go up the side and this is one and three quarters by four and a quarter and the pattern paper is one and a half by four. You can see how mine's going to sit in there. And then I've got these two which will be the same size on that one as well. And you'll want two pieces that are two by two and three quarters and two pieces of pattern paper that are one and three quarters by two and a half. And they will both go inside these ones here. So you can see how that looks. So just by turning them, 
although it's the same card you two get two very different looks and I really like it. I've then got these flowers which I'm just going to build up a few like here and just create a nice little scene. So I'm going to get this all stuck down and then I can just quickly show you how to do that inside mat and then that's the card finished. Okay, so there is everything stuck down and then I've also just done a little cluster of flowers there which are from the same papers. I've just fussy cut those and you would have seen I've put these little enamel, just enamel dots and I put the glossy accents all over the hello there so it's just got a lovely shine to it. So now I just want to add this matte layer for inside. If you don't want to do it this way, you could just do a strip along there, okay? But I'm going to do this kind of stepped matte layer so this is a piece of six and three quarters by four and three quarters so along the six and three quarter side at the top here put a pencil mark at two and a quarter okay so just there at two and a quarter then come down one inch draw a pencil line then come across two and a quarter then come down again another inch and then just come across and that again will give you two and a quarter. You then want to remove this section here. Okay and then you just want to stick it inside the card just there. You see you get a nice perfect matte layer. Okay like so. Then you can stamp and pop whatever else you may want to do in there. But that is the card finished. Okay, so there's all three cards. I really like them. I just love how different the looks are. Um, this is very much my kind of style. I just love these detailed stamped images. I like that you're able to create that background and foreground with this style and really build that scene. And uh, yeah, I just love how it's all come together. So this is just all stamping, inked background. And then I've just, you know, fussy cut those images to create that look. And um, it stands up really nicely. I just love it so much. And then again, I love these. They're really crisp, more contemporary. And um, I think they will work for many occasions. Again, I do like that idea of that being the side of a cake tier. So I'll look forward to seeing somebody do something like that. But I love how it looks. I love how the holographic card just catches the light. So yeah, I think they look really, really good. And again, I'll just bring that up there just so you can see all that detail really really fun and lots of room inside to be able to stamp your message so i hope you've enjoyed this triple stepper card from me today and um, as always i'll share all the links to everything that i've used in the description box below i will be back very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye